You gotta flex this to the camera this though. This is crazy. Like, okay, oh, oh, she, she do. She got okay. the French tips. Look. Okay. We gonna zoom in okay. on those. Like, you can just like curl them a little. Bit. Yeah. Can that, you yeah, like do that? that? Okay. <laughs> do it. <laughs> 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 What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Wins and Losses Podcast. I'm your host, Adam Prez, and you know I got my boy, Nasty Nas, right yeah. over there on the side of the table. You already know it ain't a Wins and Losses episode unless we bring a very, very, very special guest. And tonight, we got a guest, y'all, all the way from the other side of the country. Mm. She's from New York. Mm. She go by Star Wars. <laughs> Hello, hey, what up, what up, what up? Hey, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and don't forget to check out our Patreon. The link is in the description below. Um, doesn't cost you anything to click on that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, just make sure you guys click on that and uh, tap into that. You guys, if you're new and don't know what this podcast is about, this is where we talk about um, dating, sex, relationships, dating advice, all that juicy, freaky, dicky stuff. Ain't that right, Nas? Freaky. Especially Nas. That side, that side of the room always got some energy flowing over there. That just be coming out crazy, y'all. That's Nas, yeah. But like I said, it's not about us. Say it's about Star. She came here. She got uh, she got a lot of uh, a lot of juicy, <laughs> little juiciness in her on shore. You know that she's ready to share. Yeah, uh, I'm excited. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, of course, of, of course. course. How was your uh, your flight and your stay down here so far? Honestly, I feel like every time I fly on an airplane, something always happens. So. Oh God! So what happened this time? <laughs> um, they lost my luggage for 24 hours. So. No. Um, thank you, United. I will not be flying with you again. Oh, <laughs> United just got down. <laughs> yeah. A couple points. And I'm always like the skinny one, so I always get like stuck in the middle seat somehow. Somewhere. Oh, you're tripping! Oh, so. you're crazy. Did you sit next to like two <laughs> big ass dudes? Every time. Like, <laughs> every time. <laughs> every time uh, that's, the <laughs> that's the worst see someone like you got you need to like choose the aisle like you need to you know the the window, fuck that, that you, window seat you're gonna I'm, get screwed. i try i know i just I, i'm just last minute so i just sometimes i just take what i can get i feel it i see it be like that sometimes oh, yeah so uh what you be doing out here when you're out here like you be going to the clubs at all with your friends or i just come out here honestly to see family uh now that i live in new york it's just a little bit harder with traveling so um i originally moved there since i'm a tattoo artist so i thought that i could like expand my business out there and coming from la scottsdale and arizona in general is kind of i felt like i was a little bit limited here and um new york is just a whole different vibe I feel like it definitely like brings out the hustle in you so that's what i love to do and yeah i was just having a lot of fun there but mainly when I'm here, I'm just coming to see family. I've been back like every month. So, mm -hmm. you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving, wedding. I'm like, everyone needs to chill. Like I'm done for a little bit mm -hmm. after this. So I'm happy you guys like caught me on my no. last whim here. No, oh, perfect. That, that, that's this cool. <laughs> perfect. <All> right. <laughs> this dude Wait, but perfect. I want to talk about, because you said the opportunity, because that, I, you know, that's kind of where, where this podcast stemmed from, you know, wins and losses and kind of the growth during your, your entrepreneur journey, I would, you know, um, say so like in New York um, especially in Manhattan I'm assuming you're like networking with people or just meeting Correct. more people than you would out here yes. right 100%. how's that going for you I feel like I just putting yourself out there and being in certain areas where there might be some people that you know are a little bit more elevated than you are places like LA New York Miami you know Vegas and sometimes you it's all about being at the right place at the right time so it's really important uh, to me to go out there and network, like you're saying, just because you do meet a lot of people and you never know where those connections are going to go. So um, that was definitely one of the main reasons I've been there. But yeah, I've been meeting a lot of people, learning a lot, a lot of new things. Um, it's really expensive there, so you kind of have <laughs> to work hard and do the things. But yeah, everything's going good. So did you like meet someone to room with then? Like that would also be on the same type of vibe, like another tattoo artist or um, are you yeah, just kind of so solo I, dolo right now? Right now. Okay. So for some reason, New York is really weird and everyone loves Facebook out there. I don't know. That is I weird. Just, I've that never been a Facebook person <laughs> and literally everything I'm finding, it's like girls have like girl groups on Facebook. I'm like now having to like go on Facebook now and I like don't even use it anymore. Um, to each their own. But 
a lot of the rooms you find are on Facebook groups of like NYC sublets. And so it's like you're in this like girl group and then people post like rooms for rent and things like that. So that's mm. how I found my spot currently. But I'm moving out of there this week into just my own like one bedroom just because I hate roommates. So wait, how long have you been out there? I've been out there for like three months. So the, oh, I took okay. over like a subway. So it was kind of like perfect. If you ever want to like try out a new city, try to find a short sublet because you never want to be stuck in a year lease and having, you know, what if you end up hating the place? I wasn't sure if that would be the case with me. So I just played the safe route and did like a short term sublease. But now I'm planning to be there permanently for a little bit. Yeah. Damn. She feeling it. She feeling it. Oh, <laughs> all right. That's that is interesting. Um, I feel like Arizona is on the come up. So like when you say that there's not yeah. much opportunity, I feel like it's growing. You know, it's growing. Yeah, becoming it the is, new LA. It is, like, it is growing. Got the Super Bowl. It is growing. You're right. You're right. There's there's a lot of things happening here. But I mean, <laughs> I want to be already at like the top point. I'm not. And I'm not trying to be like the steady grower. I'm like ready to go right now with my tattoo stuff and. I feel like New York is a really good place for that specific niche. Maybe with other things, growth is good here. But with tattooing, I, I want to go like where all the big artists are. So, but um, you said so, you're from New York too, right? Uh, my family is yeah. So I have like yeah, I got my entire family, including my cousin back over there. Shout out to Ben. <laughs> he's from uh, he's from Queens. So, um, yeah, that. yeah, you know what I'm saying. I like it, but I I can I could never live there um like i would only visit just because one the weather two just the congestion and like there's honestly there's unlimited reasons why like i couldn't even feel like i could own a nice car out there without hitting a pothole <laughs> a little, little stupid shit like that would just <laughs> piss me off so yeah i don't know but i want to know so see, you've been out there three months i'm assuming you kind of went out made some friends um how are, how are the men out there what's the dating life like i thought the what's... dating life would be better than here but it's really? not i it's feel like not. it's worse and um i've never been the type of person to use a dating app but i recently tried hinge out there and i it's, <laughs> it's gone now basically. it's good you, that's basically the end of that story just uh, <laughs> she had said, one bad experience on it she like no <laughs> you said hinge yeah you couldn't what is that really what is that it's a dating app no yeah but like is it like tinder or yeah well at first when i downloaded hinge i was super confused because i was i didn't know how because i don't use dating apps i'm like i don't know how this works and i was like overwhelmed because there was like 150 like likes that i have to like go through so i'm like this feels like homework you know what i mean oh okay <laughs> my bad <laughs> but like it, it does it feels like homework so like that's kind of the reason i also deleted it because it's like i don't have time to just sit there yeah, and like scroll through look at shit. people like just for fun like yeah. it's just too much and then at that well, what point, was your intention like, going on there yeah like um well for one i think it was like boredom for a second there and then two also <laughs> i was in a new city so i don't uh, i was like still trying to like meet <laughs> friends <stupid>. but like <laughs> not go out on my own and like meet people so but yeah, yeah i think just because i was like new to the city just easier yeah, so were you feeling like you know like you <laughs> so were you trying to were you trying to meet friends is, though yeah, was, was, it, was it like let's just let's just keep it a yeah, were you trying to get some dick or were you trying no, to make some friends? or was it for like business purposes i think i wanted a boyfriend you wanted a boyfriend yeah yeah i don't know you might have to pay for that one you pay for hinge yeah, you, gotta, no. you, gotta, you, you can't get the free plus. app. You, you, can't, you can't get the Tinder. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pay for that one. That's gonna be like three hundred no, a month. <laughs> you could pay for Hinge, but I oh, don't. Could. They have oh, like so you, you know they have the little friend. upgrades on there. I don't know what they do. With the little upgrades. They almost got but your ass. On Hinge, though, I judge men based off what place they pick and if they ask me out for drinks or dinner if you ask me out for drinks, you automatically just lose like five points right there. Red flag. It's not a red flag. It just, just shows like, how much you don't care. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not interesting. Cause think about it. Like girls have to get ready. We have to do X, Y, Z, all these things. You we're meeting you for the first time. So like, obviously most of the time in Manhattan, like people don't have a car. So you're meeting up with someone going out of your way. And like, as a girl, you have to, I feel like you have to do so much more to get ready. And like, just for us to go out and have a drink, it's just like not really fun. 
<laughs> so a, to you, no, I'm just kidding. I don't like drinking. This <laughs> thing, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I hate drinking. So, so like, <laughs> I think one of the things I put in my bio is like, don't ask me out to get a drink. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so dinner's better. Dinner's 100%. plus five. Hundred percent. Oh, plus shit. ten. Plus ten. Plus ten. No, plus five, bro. Nah, it plus depends 10. where. Plus ten is like you know, it's like location. That's true. But know? she, that's but true. she knows what that person looked like, right? That's true. So plus ten. I mean, you hope they then look like their photos. Plus fifteen, man. If the location, <laughs> you say what? Pull up it, I said you hope they look like their photos. Oh yeah, oh, shit. That's shit. another story too. Damn. Yeah, that that that's is true. another. You never know. And also, guys, you guys are not really like photogenic. You guys don't really take. I mean, majority of guys don't know how to take a good photo of themselves. So I feel like well, that's kind of good. Guys usually look good. better no, we're, we're because men. girls be we're catfishing on that bitch. We're men. Oh no. Bro, I can agree with that. Yeah, see, girls that. be catfishing like a motherfucker. They'll do anything to get the right. They'll take a hundred photos to get the perfect to get one. That right one. Versus the dude, he'll take <laughs> like maybe like, three look, and look, and make himself look like a. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> one of those. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to use that anyone on this funny. podcast. You don't have to say who that was catfish. That was cat. Oh yeah, yeah hell yeah. Hell oh yeah, hundred yeah. yeah. percent. What? Like there's multiple. there's a couple not like posted. Multiple. You feel oh, me? Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's I a few that's not there's posted. There's a few that not posted. That we so. didn't post. Oh my goodness. Because that shit Stop blew it. my. I swear Bro, to God. I like as soon as they walked through the door, it was like. Stop it. I'm dead ass. Ask him. <laughs> no, ask him. No, ask <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. That was like an immediate ask. Like you guys did not wait a second. Nah, you're probably the first like non catfish. Oh, this guy, dude. Non -catfish. No, that's fun. That's, that's disrespectful to guys. all of our non catfish. I love oh, it. Yes, non catfish. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait. So, uh, uh, when you when you have you used Tinder out there? Like, have you scooped no, up I don't a Tinder? Use Tinder? So you're cool with the dating apps? Like, that's no, not like a red flag. Bumble. No, no. You, you don't, ain't been on Bumble. Don't find. You're not but you're on a dating app. Like, no, you were trying to find a boyfriend. Oh, you deleted it. Yeah, you guys messed up. So how are you? So how are you? So how are you like me? Like what? Like um, now it's just I'm just. I gave up, so I just go out and just like normal. Just in person, yeah. like if it happens. Natural. It happens. Yeah, I think I that's the best it. way. By yourself, though? In no, no, like no. That's no. Scary. Like, okay. All right, but no, oh. like with girls. I'm not like just going out. I would never go out by myself. No. I was going to say, yo, you really? Yeah, no. Picking never. up that New York, uh, <laughs> New York mode. <laughs> All right, but so what's the, if, if someone was trying to, you know, scoop you, scoop you up, you know, what would be the best way for a male to slide in your DMs? or even or approach, approach you, you. In, yeah, and you know like, what let's let's exit your dating app in person what's the approach. best way okay if we're at like a bar because that's probably like i assume that's where you're meeting me drinking even though she said okay go ahead yeah, um go ahead. okay we'll do two scenarios <laughs> at a bar and a non-bar okay? okay so at a bar i feel like it's really simple just to come up and ask if i want to drink or ask me what i like to drink not just um order like oh two tequila shots or whatever it is even though i like tequila prime example but um i feel like Send guys though you should get the hint in the first like 10 seconds if we like you or not like that's the one thing so how does it how does a male know though like for our audience like if we're not do talking get that eye contact if we're like, not talking as much and we're like kind of quiet or like we took the drink and we don't really like have much else to say to you like probably like that's the time you walk away because like if we, i really want to talk to you i would probably be like Oh, what's your Instagram? Or like, oh, you should text me. Or oh, you, I would oh, at least try oh. to keep the conversation going oh, if I you. if I'm interested. Ooh. But a lot of the times, I feel like my girlfriends or like I will be in a situation where someone buys us a drink and then they're just lingering, and I'm like, okay, don't. <laughs> now are you I'm are you pretty straightforward? Like, are you yeah, pretty straightforward? Sounds are you like, like kind of like, like you're straightforward? Yeah, it sounds like you're straightforward. Like, if you fuck with the dude, you're gonna tell him like, like you gonna tell him like, yo. Um, I think I'm like nice about it though. I'm like, thank you. It was like really nice to meet you. I'm gonna like go back with my friends. But if Damn. you but if you yeah. fuck with him, but no, yeah. If but you, if I like him yeah. or if I think he's cute, I'll just continue to talk to him. Like, I'll try to like ask him more about himself. So, but I hate being put in the situation of having to like lay it down easy like i wish people would get the hint more like you know that i don't we don't really vibe or maybe there's a reason i'm like kind of quiet or to myself right now but it's like i feel like the girls always have to be the one to be like all right i'm gonna like walk away now like <laughs> but uh, do you so, guys do you guys do you guys have a hard time 
taking the hint or do you like get oh, it no, right off the it, bat? Right off the bat. Okay, that's good. I, learned, I think I, I think it's from him. Shut uh, the fuck up. I think it's pretty straightforward. Like, exactly. <laughs> my boy. This guy is you don't even know about Westgate, but I will say it again. Oh my god. Oh you know about Westgate? Oh yeah, she did it. He the Westgate Warrior. Are you sure? We're gonna no, say it every episode. Not, you show me my dude. The Westgate <laughs> Warrior. Oh, I don't know why he calls me that. Bro, no, where were you at two weeks last okay, last year, yes. No, oh, last year he was last year, yes. I was in that bitch. He's in, <laughs> but I he's retired. We're like, 21 days into, into no, 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 <laughs> last, no. I mean, last, yeah, we know what you're trying to I say. Mean, last year, I don't mean a few months ago, I'm talking like you feel me, like okay, yeah, like way so like, back, exactly, like earlier, ago. yeah, okay, type shit. But now, one like, year, you're I've been a new, like chill. new you, new like, honestly, year, new I've been you. Uh, I've been at the crib, I've been, at, I've been at the crib lately, that's family. good. So, I agree, probably not gonna be your soulmate at the club anyway. So, facts. She's not lying. I'm gonna right. meet her at the mall. So, so I want to know. I want to know it, what is a deal breaker for you? Like, what's the number one deal breaker in a male? Ooh, um, like, let's say he's cute, got a nice smile, he checks all your boxes, but then like he tells you this one thing. <laughs> like, what the fuck is it gonna be? That's like, oh hell no. Oh, it tells me something. Or, 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 or no, like no, it doesn't have to tell you something. I mean. It could be appearance, yeah. Appearance, anything. Or it just throws you off like, oh, shit. Yeah. I think if I, like, go to their house and it's, like, super dirty or, like, they're mm. not. Or, like, I like if they're the type of guy that you go in their room and they don't even have, like, a, a bed frame and they just have, like, a <laughs> mattress. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of the worst. Have you ever fucked on a bed without a bed frame? Um, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's what <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> yeah, probably, oh, like, shit, five funny. years ago. What was so. it? Just a mattress? Like literally just a mattress on the floor? No. Oh, like, okay. All right, you no, no. Yeah, just regular kinda. bed. No bed for it. <laughs> Damn, that's a tough. See, females be looking at that now. They be scoping that's out crazy. the room, bro. Yeah. When they walk in, they be looking at, right. like, do he have deodorant? Yeah. Do he have? Do he got hand soap in the bathroom? Is do like he got wipes? Hand soap. Do he yes. got? Oh, yes. yeah. hand soap. She said, well, Damn. "Low key though, girls will look in your shower too." Yeah, what? like, yeah. is it dirty? We'll like peek in there. Is it, yeah, is it? Is dirty? like hair yeah. everywhere? Like, is like the grime on the bat? Like, but what if that shit's spotless in the shower? Then we're like, then it's like we're good. Plus five. We're good. Plus five. Yeah. Okay. Plus it's true. Five. Yeah, right. Because this female's like, like, this is. <laughs> fucking standard if that shit ain't you know yeah. <laughs> then it's like i could never see myself with someone like that because i'm so clean and organized and it's like you can't like teach a guy to be clean if it's like at that point they're either gonna do it they're not gonna want to do it like how old are you you know <laughs> how old are you yeah i guess see, see for some females will say that shit and then just be like dirty as fuck themselves and be having some that's crusty I'm, I'm toes and like yeah. Yeah, you feel, i'm like yeah, do you females. guys want to see my toes right now is that what i asking? hope they're not crusty i mean you can go ahead like, you can, like, you can show, show the camera you, <laughs> want, yeah. you can take the boots off <laughs> yeah, and we can have a little I'm sneak like, peek I into the only fans. <laughs> i don't know like you, you kind of give me a little you give me a little crusty vibe stuff definitely not no stop shit like there's a reason why you got high boots off today it's because it's cold it's not cold it's cold <laughs> and you, you were well i had it's warm in here but it's cold out there um, and like i don't want to be like too bundled up because then it gets hot so where is the fine line i don't know yeah hide the crusty toes is rejected today oh yeah. my God. Fine. I don't know. It's right, they it's really right. want to like see if you want to see her toes guys, just subscribe to her only fans it's not us like they they want you can show them Look at that! So I was like, you can show them. Does All right, do it for the camera. Do it for the camera. Right, do it for the camera. Right, we go. We, this is gonna be a viral moment. We gonna do this. Is gonna be hilarious. We, we all know ways El Oz's podcast for oh this God. shit happened. She's like, I just got a petty today. Oh Fuck God, y'all. This is crazy. Look, look, this is crazy. Like, you gotta flex this to the camera this though. This is crazy. Like, oh, oh she, did she do? She got okay. the French tips. Like, okay. we gonna zoom in okay. on those. Like, you can just like curl them a little. bit Yeah. Can you like do that? Okay. Hey, you bro, got. she ain't capping. She's That's like, all I get. A, so y'all got to subscribe to her shit. The link is going to be in the uh, oh, description. I don't, have, I don't and have OnlyFans, but you can follow my tattoo page, blueart.tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, like, how you a tattoo artist? She got no tats, and then she got one on her foot. Yeah. She was waiting for that she moment was tonight. For it. That's she why was like, you wanted it. Okay, you're not okay. slick. I see what she you're doing. Everyone always says, why are you a tattoo artist and you don't have any tattoos? Because you give the tattoos. Exactly. Thank I you. I get it, yeah. 
That's cool. How that's, did you know? Because I just figured that's what it makes every sense. tattoo artist would say. It, makes sense. <laughs> it yeah. makes sense though. Like who's tattooing themselves all the time? Yeah. That's good tattoo. You I you mean, tattooed your honestly, foot, huh? I don't know about that. That's like yeah. 50-50 because yeah. there is some tattoo that's, artists that do good. it on their self. Yes, that's good. You're right. There's a few, There's but how many like rare. actually? Yeah, it's rare. Yeah. You know, okay. they have someone. I'll just shut up. Them. I'll just shut up. My bad. <laughs> Wow, all right, she proved us wrong, bro. I, we never had a girl whip out her toes hey, on the podcast. Hey, show them your tats, though. My tats? Yeah. This ain't my you want to talk about tats? Let's see yours. Boy, you hating on my tats? My tats are hard, boy. Yeah, bro, uh, you're such a gangster. This thing is... went like this. Mm, yeah. <laughs> what is, a scary nun? Uh, is that a scary nun? Boy, right here? Yeah, you ever seen Yeah, you're uh, scared? No. You're scared? No, it's, it's nice. Uh Mm. Can you do work like this? Cause I, I think this is good work. Oh, no, this nah, is... that nun's hard. I, I don't do lie. realism. I do no. line work, like script. Oh, I hate lines. And I fucking hate lines. Fine line detail. Oh, so you be doing like little little tattoos, kind of and stuff. I do, yeah. <coughs> I do like doing the small tattoos. Okay, cool, cool. All right, bet. So I want to know. You know, we we losing track. Shit, my bad. We got yeah. running back real quick. Damn it, your perfect male. I know, Star, right? Star getting those. We went from showing toes. I know, to showing toes. To your your perfect man. Like, what can, uh, you know, some of our men be struggling out there. They don't really know, you know what I'm saying, like, how to dress or, like, uh, they might be, you know, they might be it, but just don't know how to dress. So, like, what's, what are some things a dude could do to kind of just, you know, up his game on getting a bad female? Because, you know, not every woman, not every pretty woman wants that big buff dude that's, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's is that true. your type or... Or you like skinny? Uh, no, I don't think I have a type. I feel like you don't have a type? obviously a lot of girls are like, oh, tall, which obviously who doesn't want tall? <clears throat> but like, I feel like a perfect guy is someone who like, I feel like a lot of the times I meet guys and they like play games and they're not serious. And I feel like, like video games or like play games? <laughs> I'm <laughs> serious because I lost so track. So I was so no. confused right there. Uh, you're games so as in. I was like, uh, my bad, I'll shut up. Cause I thought <laughs> she was like, I met guys that play games, so I'm thinking like they just be Do on their ass all day. Games? No, I don't. Do but I have play a PlayStation, but I don't. You don't play video games? I be busting Nas's Tell ass me. in 2K. Y'all gotta peep though. I'm not gonna cap my. Nigga, are you serious? Bro? I do. I will kill ass in 2K. Do not bro, sit here and cap. And on Madden, on Madden, okay, I beat him okay, with the Madden, Giants. Okay, They're like Madden, 76 Madden we twice. Bro, we are getting so. This is not. Steph with, Curry was fucking you up. All right, bet I was fucking you up. So, don't talk about that. I'm kidding. All right, man, go ahead, go ahead. My bad. All right, perfect dude. Shit. I'm kidding. Um, someone who definitely is, I don't have to tell them to do, do, th do things. They just know what to do. Like, for example, if oh. you invite me to your house, don't send, not send me an Uber. Like, you should be like, I'm sending you a car. If you want me to come over your house randomly or whatever the situation is, or you're inviting me over, um, in the place that I'm at, obviously, because it's like people don't really drive out there. So that's just from my example of my environment. But definitely always send a car. I'll, like never have to like, I, especially with like small things like opening the door or paying if I were hanging out for the first time on a date, like paying for the meal or whatever we're doing. Like it doesn't have to be every time, but this is like first impressions and it shows like your character 100 percent and also don't be a cheap ass either <laughs> damn she just fried y'all she said don't be a cheap ass like, there's ways give me an that example you can do, there's ways that you can do cute things that's not like the bare minimum like you can you can put a little bit of effort into a day even if you are not the richest guy like you can do something cute like that a girl would like or I know, for example, here in Arizona, they have, like, Tempe Town Lake. You could go on those little, like, boats and row a boat together with someone. And it's, like, what, 30 bucks for, for an hour? Or if you know you can't afford an expensive dinner, there's, like, a lot of things like that you can do. But I feel like guys do not want to put the effort in anymore nowadays. So that's, like, a number one thing that I feel like I gravitate towards men who, like, have something already set up. I don't have to worry about, you know, like having to offer my card or anything like that i feel like as a man you should take care of a woman and she will do the same a hundred times back to you so okay this is the wins and lots podcast where we we don't hold back on here so i i have to say I, i'm getting the vibes that you, you you set high expectations like status matters to you you ain't you ain't fucking with no broke dude 
um you ain't fucking with no bum like you said in high standards like you said over here she even threw out that you better open my door boy like yeah. so i'm thinking like mm -hmm. yeah so but i feel like nowadays that's so looked upon like a big thing but it's not like let's be real back then guys were like fighting to get to your door and like come to the, like movies there was movies no like phone that. you know black they were just hoping you're home knocking yeah. on your door yeah on the black and white screen yeah on the black yeah. and white screen <laughs> <laughs> yeah they <bold> have <laughs> like now these guys have these like i feel like you're into a lot of men have this thought of like oh that's too much and then no, no, no. no that is the bare minimum that is actually the bare minimum guys mm. like PSA announcement. Well, you said you you said something earlier about um, being Ubered to like someone's crib. So, like you be getting Ubered to people's crib. Like, yeah, you be going on dates I'm to people's gonna, cribs. I'm like, not yeah, I know that caught. That no, said, I think that, that caught Nas's like, attention. I saw his eyes yeah. light up. He was like, Ooh. So that's like if you're already hanging out with someone. I that like if he's already hit. Before. Like he's it's all good. That's like, happened to you before, where I've been like talking to someone for a little bit, or they've been the ones pursuing me and so like when is it okay to give it up like when when do you know like okay like i'll fuck this dude like you know what i'm saying yeah. you, what's what's the what's and, the and, and you're fucking before you cuffing i would yeah, hope obviously. i would hope okay all right cool, okay, all right, cool. Okay. We, we, we gotta, gotta make sure right <laughs> yeah, we gotta make sure <laughs> yeah, the other we just had a podcast so the other way around yeah, okay yeah, but yeah. i feel like each person is different that i've been through this with but i do try to give like at least five dates minimum that's like some like five so what's the if quickest serious, what's the quickest if i'm ever quickest yeah quickest you ever the shortest amount of time you've ever let someone um uh, when i was out of town and i just met someone like one night and was with them all night and yep so that's the shortest but so that's basically a one night stand so what did i say yeah but you, that's like because I think I'm never gonna see this person ever again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so wait, so you'll <laughs> so you'll fuck someone already knowing like I'm never gonna see this person again, or well, you would I never think, fuck them again. No, I would think that like I'm never gonna see him again. So like if I was visiting a place and I just happened to buy with someone and if I felt like doing it, it's usually because alcohol is involved. But Mm, alcohol is involved a dangerous drug i think drug. that if i was AKA at a restaurant tequila. like sober and like met someone i would like never <laughs> do that yeah. i think when i'm like out all night and like partying with someone sometimes things like that happen but i only do it if i feel like i'm never gonna date this person or i'm never gonna see them ever again just because i don't want to have that interpretation of myself that that's like the type of person that i am okay but are you limited so, on that yeah. night like are you are you giving throat or are you just like you just fucking or like is no it we're like, doing it all are you doing it all yeah oh shit what's all like so like find so that i want to hear that i feel like girls in general are scared to like tell guys what they want during sex i feel like girls are not as comfortable and i feel like it, this is sounds so evil to say but i feel like it's easier to be super demanding when you do, when you know that you're not going to ever see someone again so basically <laughs> you like, disrespected him like <laughs> no i'm put just put that tongue on the booty man you <laughs> <laughs> should be telling him that Look you're at funny that. as hell <laughs> but no i just think that like <laughs> Because <laughs> that's true, bro. I swear, she like, she's demanding. Look, like, she be demanding. No, I'm like, she... take care of the girl first. Like, just saying, that should be in all aspects. But like, sometimes it's harder when you're like getting to know someone to be that demanding. But like, if you're having a one night stand with someone, like all all rules are out the window. Oh my god! Okay. I feel. Like... <laughs> I, uh... Spit it, Nas. So. On a one night stand, you're saying all the tricks is out the back. I feel like I'm way more like comfortable of like telling them what I want or rather than like I'm hanging out with someone like barely getting to know them. And I'm just like, no, nope, you're not done yet. Like, can't come back up. You're not done yet. You can't come back up. You're not do you done feel? yet. What right. is done? 
I feel like because we like we supposed I feel to like fuck when, still. I feel like when guys want to have sex, they're like just wanting to like put it in right away. Like they're just like ready to go. Oh, she need that foreplay. So you, you need a foreplay. You, you need want to know? Yeah. Pussy aid and all that shit. I feel like foreplay is like should be done every time, but it's unfortunately not. So yeah. in the black and white movies, it was. I mean, maybe. What's what's your experience? Do you make do you make sure the girl's taken care of first, or do you? Th- with a one night stand or with a mm, <laughs> the big difference, buddy. It's a big both. difference. Both. both. Okay, both. So I'm gonna start with the like I'm talking like we've been talking for a minute and shit like that. And yeah. Talking, I know her. Okay. Yeah, all the tricks is out the bag. I'm not gonna lie. Now a one night stand. <laughs> that one's hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's, it depends honestly, who it well, that is, one's right? easier than it depends yeah. who it is, right? Yes. Cause because I feel not like all fuck no fuck no not all I swear to God yeah. you might get no not even no, but no. also I feel like I'm not you even can kissing tell. I'm not even kissing on the one night stand first of all what I'm not that is insane you you're gonna just put your dick in a girl without even kissing them like yep that sounds psychotic that sounds like that a sounds real like a man, real man. Like, <laughs> Hey, Vinny, you, you hear me? <laughs> that is literally like just what? like that a is life real. size that is pocket m- pussy for you. Pocket okay. pussy, what? That but is a life size gotta, pocket pussy. Okay, but you gotta. That is insane. That, no, because she's gonna not, suck it's the dick. Not, it's not insane because I'm not kissing her. But she can what? suck the dick. Listen, I'm dead. Do you one, see that? <laughs> listen, 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 chill. Listen, Linda. On a one night stand. If it's not like, I'm not saying, first of all, I'm not fucking with no ugly bitch. You feel me? But just like you said, alcohol does play a major part. And if she's not like, you feel me? No nine or above. Fuck no. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not doing, doing it. it. Exactly, now she yeah. looks good as fuck. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. He's all over that booty. Huh? 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 You wait, no, 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 wait. No, I, I did that about the kissing. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> but you feel you feel what I'm trying to say, though? I like, do. if she look, yeah. you feel me? Like Exactly. Like, yes. Yeah. I agree with that. I'm gonna yes. And you can tell like when someone is like clean. My point is you yeah, can, you, you know feel I mean? like Well you shouldn't be fucking no dirty person anyway. But yeah. like sometimes yeah, but you can't tell I'm beforehand. sure guys are in situations where they're like taking a girl to the room or vice yeah. versa. Yeah. And it may not seem what it you Which, know initially yeah. what yeah. it was. Uh, <laughs> and that's yes, you're you're totally right. And now you're in the room and you're now you're like, Well, what do I do? No, it's not. What, what would do you I, do? No, it's not. What do I do? It's I already know what I'm going to do. <laughs> That's what you not understand. I already know what I'm going to do. On the way to the walk to the room, I'm no, already thinking I'm like. I'm saying if Puh. the girl is not, like, if you can tell something is off or like a girl is not clean, you're still going to go in for it. You're still going to do what you want. We're going to do back there. Like I said, I already know what I'm going to oh. do. <laughs> So you nasty thing. motherfucker. You still gonna hit that smelly pussy? No, he says, uh, I know exactly <laughs> what I'm gonna do. What you gonna do? He said, I had to throw. see it out that's oh, it. Yeah. Like, like, I mean, that's what think, we was waiting for. You, feel, yeah, like, you, yeah. Gotta, you gotta think about it. Yeah, yeah you gotta think you about it. Don't no think it, boy. Yeah, you you had to see it out. No. <laughs> no. Oh, then I'd say, oh no, bro. No. Like I said, if it, like I said, I'm walking to the room, I'm already thinking in my head, like, okay, fuck, man. I you feel up. me like yeah. God damn it, Dawson. Well, you, I don't know. You you know correct to, me if I'm wrong. Is there some right? situations? No, <laughs> you don't have no. You no, don't you, have to do. you, oh. you, you, like you to yourself. You're saying, I have yeah, to do it. you feel yeah. me? Yeah. So like, you feel me? Nas up here, like, bro, you fucked up, mm-hmm. and I know I fucked up. So now, and then you me? take another shot. And you're like, fuck, I'm gonna just fuck anyway. No, it's like, it's like, it's like, I'm gonna just, just go ahead and get some dome, and then you feel me? Damn, I gotta go home. I'm dead. Oh god! He so said, serious. "Damn, I gotta go home." I'm so serious. That's true. Yeah, I feel it though, Nas, bro. Uh, just saying it, you know, to put it in cement, you know, we ain't kissing one night stands. Mm-hmm. Males that kiss on one night stands, there's something different about them. That's different. That is not unless there's what a, we do here. A nine and above, right? That's what you said. That's unless what, yeah. they yeah. are yeah, a ten. Man, and a nine like above she, is reasonable. You feel me? Yeah. Like if she look. Good. Yeah, I feel but it. Like, you, how about really? everything how about how about stand? oh my god okay okay but but for you star how but about i mean yeah you like be it's not like not using protection you know <laughs> wait, wait, that's wait. not every i said it's not like we're wait, not are we using, using protection, protection or are we yes. not using yeah oh we're using protection so we're, oh. we're using protection 
One night stands. One night stands. Everything is technically starts off as a one night stand. So it's like you use protection on every time you fuck. Yeah, you use protection every That's time. That's what I want to know. No, not with people oh. that I would pursue further, that I want to pursue further. One night stands, yes. Do you do you know you want to pursue? So you've never, you've never, you've always used protection on a one night stand. I had probably had like three one night stands. Without protection? Probably like one of them without. Mm. But I don't really like to do one night stands because... I feel like when you are having sex with someone, you're exchanging your energy. So like, oh. mm-hmm. okay. I feel like sometimes if you ever like had sex with someone and like the ne- even though you really like this person, there's been like a situation where I don't know if this ever happened to you guys, but if you ever feel like weird or like sad the next day or like something's off. <clears throat> the next day? Could, or like whenever you're done, whenever it mm-hmm. is, the next day, whatever. I feel like sometimes that energy can linger around. Like if that person is like low key, like sad or mad or depressed about something, I feel like that energy can like come onto you. So I don't know. I don't really like to do one night stands. So when was the last to... time you had a one night stand? I've proved. <laughs> God damn! I always be catching that one. Last week. Look at ass, bro. It was last one year. time. When? One time last year, and before that was years ago. Last year, so like, like twenty three days, so like days ago, twenty days ago, not specifically twenty days ago. That's what but... you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I told you. Oh, but yeah, um, I was not expecting to do that. It just kind of just I was happened. in a new city, and I happened to meet someone, and I had an amazing time with them. So you're doing whatever a man tells you, because if you're <laughs> if you're telling him what to do, you gotta nice. do what he tell you to do. Yeah, you better but, put some respect on it. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, right? I, I will. But at the same time, I feel what? like they're not like telling you some, much. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, there's only so much. I think they're a little shy. It's okay. And they're a little she shy. Said it's okay. <laughs> so, come, so what do you enjoy doing then? So, what do you enjoy doing? What do you enjoy doing, like in bed? Yeah. Um. Because if they're shy, then like shit, someone gotta take over. No, I mean, I meant like sometimes they're shy with being with saying everything they want to say but i feel like yeah. as a girl like you should enjoy pleasuring your man or the guy that you're with in mm. bed and i feel <clears throat> like you don't need to be told what to do but that's just me and that's why i said it's okay <laughs> so, so, what, so what are you doing like what's your yeah, what's your goat like what do you do? <clears throat> what's your me? finisher yeah finisher. i'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. yeah what's like your... finish him okay damn all right finish him. We go. <laughs> Um, like what are you, you best like, at? You like, say, in bed. like say, like say you're in act and you see that he's shy. Like, so what do you do oh, to overcome shy. that shyness? You get me? All right, so two um, different. probably. That's a good question. She's like, just whip his dick out and suck it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So <laughs> if okay, yeah. So probably I'll just like lay them down, and then I'll be like. <laughs> Put your hands on my head or something. I don't know. I feel like they're just like very like. Yeah, just you see them. And <clears throat> yeah, maybe like guide them a little bit, but mm. I don't really come across that problem too much. I was just saying like more so like guys are oh, like just a little shy like vocally like mm. they don't really talk too much or I feel like girls think think it's hot when like guys like talk a lot during sex or you like moan and it's not just the girl doing it i feel like girls really like when guys do that too so you like quiet sex or not quiet sex but like you don't like the too much talking no i was no i said the opposite of that Uh, i I understand yeah okay okay so you like the talk so what you be what's the vocabulary what do you do you guys talk during sex oh i'm not like too much of that i'll I'll start off any noise Oh yeah, yeah, I mean yeah, shit. If yeah. I'm in there, I'm feeling said, it. Hell yeah. If I'm, I'm in it, I'm in it. You know, yeah, but I don't be like mm-hmm. making. I don't be exaggerating the sounds. Like you know, like, there's no need for that. So no, but like talking, like being oh, a, sexual towards each other, like talking, <clears throat> like saying. Like, I'll be making you sound like effects. This, you like that? You like this? You don't like that? You know? Oh, like letting letting her know, like I don't like that. Well, like, are you vocal if you don't like something, and are you vocal when you like something? Hell you yeah. <clears throat> oh, damn, right. bitch. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact, though. <laughs> like, like, hell yeah. Oh, That's yeah. That's a perfect reenactment. So, you, so you like, you like in, you like in, uh, <laughs> like, 
like mm-hmm. slapped in bed or like you, watch, you, like, watch, you do some freaky mm, shit? I don't. No? There's like a way to slap. There's like a. S- there's actually a show where they like a UFC slap down. Apparently, funny side note. Oh well, yeah, no, I saw that. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But um, there's I feel like there's like a way to slap. Just like there's a way to like bite and a way to grab. There's like a bite that hurts and there's like a love bite where it's like a bite that feels good. But same thing with slapping. Like you don't want to like slap a girl a f- like across the fucking yeah. face. I mean, some girls like that. But there's like ways where you can just do like a small like, like a sexual. Like, exactly. It's, it's, it's a little so like, like it's so like so from uh, here so, up, bro. So you I like that? To, I do like that. Wow. But it needs to be like a gentle slap because like there's a like, there's like pain that, there's pain that feels good but not pain when it's like actually hurting you you yeah. know what i mean so no, bro the key knobs i mean taking notes yeah, take notes bro <laughs> <laughs> he is stuck oh i'm dead I'm are you guys bro. single like what's right going here. on with that no, what's going got, on your sex life oh no i have a girlfriend i've been dating her for maybe two years now everything going smooth we did probably everything in bed you could think of great Fuck. love that for you Sick fuck. Sick fuck. No, bro, that's how that's you. That's awesome. Your, yeah, bro. There's not one thing I think Fully that I probably never that. done. But I was trying to teach Nas. You know what I'm saying? Like the slap game. You know, feel me? It's like you know, I'm not from here up. No, why? I don't, no, it's just from like that up? shit sometimes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, like if you slap him right here, it can't be too hard. You know what I'm saying? In the face. We talking the about face. in the face. Yeah, in the face. Ass. That's. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, 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 yeah that's, that's different. Yeah, that's, different. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. So my best friend. Your, your best friend, yeah, that's yeah. your best friend. Okay. <laughs> hey, what's good? What's good? You really All right, so you mm-hmm. have a two-year relationship. Mm-hmm. You. I'm single. For how long? For. Too long. Yeah, like yeah. two years. But I can tell you why he's single if you if you allow two years? me. Yes. I'm. I feel like I'm almost at that mark. What two years? Yeah, oh. one and a half. Ish. I think I'm at like two or two and a half. Do you want a girlfriend yet? Do I? Yeah, you mm. do, Nas. You was telling me last night, bro. I was, but, like, I'm weird. Like, just like you said, like, there'll be moments where I do, and then mm-hmm. there'll also be moments of, like, why I'm just, like, fuck, <clears> you know, <throat> like, I can't, like, no. I feel really. like also, too, like, someone makes you, like, when you meet someone, they kind of change your perspective. Yes. It's like, that you're like, oh, maybe I could be with this person. Yes. But when you're meeting people that aren't really like hitting all those boxes i'll help y'all out let me let me help you guys out bro we're like come on i feel it i'm just telling y'all y'all the single ones i'm trying to help you you know find the one and you know it's the one a girlfriend but but you do you said i do be thinking sometimes he always does this shit bro like we're keeping it off like this like he always does that shit hey man i'll just try to help brother out you see me shit that's okay man we was having good fuck Nas. Last relationship you've been in, bro, I think it was... How long did it last? It was a good minute, right? It was a minute. Yeah, like a year and a half. So it's safe wow. to say my boy Nas, when he get in a relationship, you know, it ain't no just one-timer. So that's why he picks and chooses. You know, he'd be I very selective way. on... Very, which is like, good. Like, he don't just very be... very loyal, like... Yeah, like, like... Like, I don't think you understand. <laughs> you understand, like, loyal like, on the talking stage or, like, loyal to your girl? Ooh. ooh. That is a good question. And are you going to be loyal to this podcast I'm right so now? so loyal, so tell That's me. That's a good true. question. <laughs> so, like, okay, this talking stage, though, like, where are we at in this talking stage? Um, you guys have established that you enjoy hanging out and y'all fuck. You're probably sleeping together already, yeah. and you like her. So whatever at that point is, it could I be like two her. dates, could be ten. I don't know. I like her and she like me, right? Yeah. We already fucked, and, and she's like, like at the top of your list, right? Top now. of my list, yeah. So like, are you starting to like push away from all the other girls, or you're still kind of like holding on to, to a few? Um, no bullshit. Yeah, I'll push. I'll push because now it's like, fuck, because honestly, that's a lot of time to keep, you feel me, everybody else while my main, my main focus is really on the one that I'm talking to. So, yeah. I'll, so you I'll start push pushing away, but you might have like still one that's like lingering. Yeah, but I really don't do nothing like that. You know what I mean? Like, I'll yeah. still talk to them, like snapping, you feel me, shit like yeah. that, but like linking up wise. Uh, not really. I'll slowly fade away. Yeah. I feel like I'm really loyal too. It isn't until like there's a breaking point when I'm with someone and I'm like, I've done everything I could to like, 
tell them what I need or what I want. And at that point, that's when it like starts to go downhill. Cause I think as a girl, we like check out so much earlier, mm -hmm. even though like we're still in it. And, but other than that, I feel like I'm super loyal. But if a girl is like telling you continuously, like over and over and you're just not hitting those mark, like, yeah, I probably might act up. <laughs> your B string, homie. Yeah. <laughs> but, nah, but that's not my fault. Whose fault's that? <laughs> niggas is loyal. Good. Anyways, my point what I was trying to say now, I'm gonna speak. Oh, let me speak. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm cool saying, now. I just want to get that off. I'm saying your your best relationships and I'll I, and tell me if I'm right or wrong, because you guys you all both been in relationships. So um have your best relationships been the ones that you didn't see coming or the ones that you did see coming? I would say didn't. Didn't, didn't right? Facts. So that's how you will know. That's what I wanted to say. That's how you will know when you find someone. Since you're single now, once you find someone, you won't even see it coming. It's just gonna happen, and then that would be like the one that's the one that's worth having. Cause then when you try and force some shit, it ain't gonna work, bro. Yeah, it ain't yeah. gonna work. Don't ever try and force some shit with a girl that ain't even reciprocating the same energy. You know what I'm saying? So very that's true. that's that's very true. Um, Girls yeah. and guys out there, like if they're not giving you the attention back, like that is your sign yeah. right there. Yeah, bro, don't be that loser. Especially with the girls, like stop <laughs> DMing us five times in a row. Like we're probably not replying for a reason, or we just probably like, just like it just because we feel bad. Yeah, so. it's like, bro, I already fucked your friend. Just should stop hitting me up. <laughs> just kidding, <laughs> oh, licking <my> ass. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you ever slept with someone and then regretted it, or and? Yeah, why? 100%. Oh, why? For what reasons? I think, like, it wasn't worth it to me to, like, give them a part of myself like that. Or they were just kind of whack. It was and like, how was it? Does size matter? Does size matter to you? Um, In a way, yeah. Like, I don't, honestly, I feel like a lot of girls agree on this. And I feel like guys has never heard this side of it. But us girls, we don't, like the big dick like huge like we're like no yeah, like you don't want no hurts. monster dick it hurts. it hurts and like you can't do the positions and it's just and also too i feel like it stretches you out i feel like when you have <laughs> <laughs> i feel like when you just have like normal standard size like you're staying tight and everything's good yeah. i feel like if you're having a guy with like huge everything it's not as fun as it sounds I feel like guys get discouraged or like thinking they need to have this big everything. But I feel like as long as you know how to make the girl feel good and like she's taken care of, that's all that matters. Cause there's some guys who probably like weren't as big, but they took, they like made up for it in like so many other ways. And then there's guys that might have been a little bit bigger, but it wasn't as like fun for me. So I think mm -hmm. size matters to like a certain extent. Like if it's super small, that's unfortunate. Like, <laughs> Just, she said that's unfortunate. the most polite way. Uh, that is unfortunate so for you, my nice. friend. Yeah. But you don't make the cut. So nice. <laughs> you don't make the cut. So nice. I'm like, God. we probably like wouldn't go back if it's like too small, like to a point where we can't like feel anything. But at the same time, it's sad because like they can't help it, like being born like. That's that. when you lob them to the, to your home girl, yeah, though, right? You, it's yeah, like okay, you, like yeah, she my home girl ain't getting no play, but you know I'll, I'll hook her up with, yeah, hook with her something. Up. So yeah. that's when you throw the lob to your home girl. Yeah. No, you like dead, dead ass. Yeah, yeah no, for, <laughs> so is is that why you would regret it? Like, is that a scenario that you've experienced or something, or was it for maybe some other reasons too? Like he just didn't know how to eat the pussy. That. Oh, or... see, yeah, I know. I mean, that could be, yeah, that is a great reason, actually. Mm -hmm. Another reason, though, is, like, if they kind of act, like, weird or different or they don't, as soon as you give it up to a guy, he kind of acts like, like a, he's not really trying anymore. It's, like, kind of like, damn, I shouldn't have done that, you know? Damn, damn. damn. I'm giving, giving <laughs> it up. Yeah, yeah you get too serious. No, it's not that. He just, that's, that's a dude. Yeah, that, he, yeah, he got his ring. He got his ring. He's yeah. out. He ready. Yeah. Uh -huh. But it's hard too, like for MVP. girls, because it's like we want to do that stuff too. Mm -hmm. So it's like, but oh, we also do. <laughs> y'all do. <laughs> we want to, but we also have to like live up to this like social standard too, and also for yourself of like you don't want to be a hoe. Like you really don't. Sometimes it's okay to be a hoe though. Yeah, it's okay sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. I mean for like, but like yeah, in a majority of scenarios, like it's yeah. better to just not, because like you're gonna feel so much better about yourself. And 
you're gonna like share yourself with people that actually care about you so that's a win mm. for me at the end of the day uh, uh, that's a uh, win uh, <laughs> 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 just saying uh, yeah all right sorry if you could have sex in one position for the rest of your life what would it be on the side on the side Side. Like, like that was a quick, that was a quick answer. Side. Like the uh, you like know where you could grab the waist. You saying the yeah, morning, like the, the morning, body? the morning. Okay, you guys have it all the. You guys have all names for them. We call, that's the wake I up mean, and roll the over. Three sixty five. And you on oh. your side and. I mean, right? not specifically for the morning, but yeah, like that's but exactly yeah, that's, the, the yeah. like cuddling position. Almost. Yeah. See. Mm-hmm. Well, well, well. What about you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm hitting the missionary. That's my go-to. But like a little like close, intimate missionary, not no like just regular. You know what I'm saying? Like, detailed. Like, wow. Yeah, I like me that's like cute. grabbing the head. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Smashing. Yeah. You know? That's my little. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Nas's favorite is um uh, every. Every uh. What. what it's from the back. It's from the back. I don't know. It's bro. It's a toss up. Is it toss? Wait, between, between what? what? That and what? Bro, either that or you gonna like, say from the side looking down? Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, the side cool though. The side uh, cool. Yeah, because you can kiss. Okay, and wait, you wait, can wait. like see everything from yeah. the front and back. Yeah, the what's, side cool. What's the next yeah. one? What's the next one? Either that or uh, I say you feel me? Was she on top? Oh, she riding dick. Okay, yeah. but only if she could ride dick. Yeah. Okay. And it's because it'd be a different and story. And when if she, she just can't, like, then I'd just be like, you she know, doing just, the, just, just, just the later scooch? real quick. And then let me, you feel me? Then I'll okay. have to come in. You, you know that? You'd be, doing, you'd be doing the scooch star? The what? The scooch. The scooch? Yeah, you'd be doing the scooch. Like, or you know, actually or be, you like, really be like that fucking motherfucker. Like, I, you bow, really be right. Bow, I feel like bow, both. I feel like both, but I also I like turning around, like putting my hands on the chest. Like reverse, yeah. yeah, reverse. yeah. Oh, and then bow. Well, it's <laughs> easier. Huh? It's easier because you're using your hands instead of your legs. Yeah, so like time. you're literally dropping your <laughs> ass dude. on it, so you're bow. Yeah, wait. <laughs> yeah, it's whatever you want to call it, Oz. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, no, no, no. We're trying to get a clear picture of this because yeah, you demonstrated like, your toes wanna, earlier. Like, yeah, I'm so. trying to like <laughs> see it. Like I'm sorry, that's just how I am. Like no, you're I right. gotta, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so wait, I gotta so, like, picture so it in my head. Reverse. Uh huh. And putting the hands on the chest. Yeah. Scooting up. Like, oh, okay. So, you're, you're, so your hands aren't on so the ankles. So basically you're doing like the tricep workout. You're like the... leaning back. Okay, yes. I feel it. Like, so you're not like twerking like, on his dick. You're like kind of like. Yeah, you're literally just. Yeah, she's kind of just like. Like just. That's yeah. hard. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's hard. I like that. I like that. My dude said you're literally just blah. I like that. My dude sa- uh, sound reason, effects are all like points. The reason I like the I like girls. That shit. <laughs> I like that shit. Dude. I'm so dead. He's like, I need to know exactly uh, how you're doing it. Yeah. To the um, T. Yeah. So, so you're more like rough, like more of a rough than romantic uh, type sex girl? Or uh, what, you, what you thinking? No, I think both. both? I think it's important well, to makes, be both. Okay, I Because feel then that. like one can get like boring after a while. So yeah. I think it's good to be... All of the things. They just have everything. But what do you guys like the we most? Do. do you like women? <clears throat> I love intimate, like slow yeah. sex. Intimate that's kind of my nice. thing. Yeah, like rough. That's what I'm saying. Like rough would be more like a like a one night stand type vibe, or just like a like it's almost like when I'm fucking you for a one night stand for my nut, I'm just like I'm disrespecting you. You, you know what I'm saying? So, like bro. I ain't kissing you. So I'm you like I'm I'm fucking that's you from wild. behind. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm so, not kissing. Yeah. So I'm never- not in your pussy. The fuck no, I'm not in your pussy. Unless you know we meet the criteria of the nine ten, but that's yeah, rare. Well, the, the nine, nine ten. Or above. Yeah, so on, that that, that one counters yeah, everything. Yo, but the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, but, but um, let me um, bro. So like, there's never been a point where like you would have rough sex with your girlfriend. That's what you're saying right now. Wait, what? My bad, Sadian. There's saying. never a point where you would have. Oh rough no, sex it's still with a balance, girlfriend. bro. But I love my intimate, like intimate. No, no, no. no I feel you. Not my girl. Times it's not. Who's saying? Yeah, like I'm more leaning on the intimate side than some rough sex. But like, I mean, I can have intimate sex with a slap still or like a, you know what I'm saying? Like rough, I imagine like literally pure rough. Like, bitch, my fucking foot like is on your throat. Well, dog the back of your like, throat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's real. Pulling out chunks of hair. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Like she biting that. the dick a little bit, you know, yeah. like a little bit. A little, yeah. Like spinning in her mouth and shit, yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, that's, yeah, that's both. That goes both ways. Do you guys like that? I hate that. <clears throat> I think it's appropriate for a male to spit in a girl's mouth, but for a girl to spit in a male's mouth is like, you just got bitched, homie. You can't can't do that. You you can miss me with it. But, 
No, you can't do that. Okay. Don't do that. But a male could spit in a girl's mouth. Oh, yeah. Girl's yeah. So but you don't just do it. It's kind of like you? she liked that. Have you had that happen to you? <clears throat> a bitch what? spit in my yeah. mouth? Yeah. No. Okay. What about you? No. Okay. Well, I don't <laughs> like it, so. You don't like a guy spitting in your mouth? No. Have you spit in a guy's mouth? I don't yeah. remember. Probably not. Oh, so you own him. You're dominant. Maybe oh, yeah. Once. You're the dominant. Yeah, yeah remember you said with the shot. So look, you just got to open your mouth and then. <laughs> yeah. I'm the teacher. No, yeah. I hate that shit. Um, no, I don't like spitting. I don't like my mouth to be spit into. So are you like a so a spitter for quitters? Mm, no, I don't think so because sometimes guys are not clean. So like mm. you can taste if your guy doesn't take care of himself, you can taste. Okay, it. but if he's clean, like are you, if he's clean, yeah, are you are you with it? Yes. Spinning or okay, yeah, you're but down. You're but if he's not, well, no. Not doing that. You okay. know? Let me let me figure this out real quick. So is there one thing like have you been fucked in the ass? Attempted. Attempted. So not a legit like fucking it. ass. Yeah, okay. So like did it. you get have you gotten your ass That's eight? Ate yes. the fuck up. Yeah. Do you like that? Um, I I think it's fine, but it's not like necessary. Like it's not like I'm like, yeah, like you know. Like it really have you, you eaten like ass that. before? Have I eaten ass before? We're going on a yeah. spree real quick because we're wrapping it up. You said what? Um, no, maybe once. With maybe an once. Because like it wasn't like it. It was like something. It was like super light. Like nothing even. I wasn't uh, like, like. I wasn't like, like in like, it. You oh, know? so you oh, like, was like, it. Just well, like, yeah, yeah. I don't think it. I don't you think she, was, she wasn't all. Like, she yeah. On the door. She's like, I'm here, it but no one answered. No one answered. Shit. I'll come back tomorrow to deliver. She was. <laughs> okay, so um, all right, so you haven't done that uh, threesome. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What two dudes? Never. Oh. Always two girls. Oh. Always two girls. I was about to okay. look at you differently if you had two dudes. Okay, so, so you, uh, I have a lot of girlfriends that you love the two dudes. The two dudes, really? Is that is that how you would? Do you prefer your threesomes that way, or are you? I don't prefer threesomes at all. I don't like them. So I why'd you do it? What happened? I, well, one, it was, like, with a couple, and then another time was with my friend. But, like, I don't like them because it's, like, it's too much having to worry about everyone's, like, well-being Plus and everything's good. And shit. Like, yeah. It's too much work. Like, it's not, it's not fun anymore. So, it's yeah. It's not fun anymore. <laughs> There's no I in team. <laughs> <laughs> really, though, for the three so But, yeah, I do have, like, girlfriends <laughs> that, like, love the two guys, and I'm, like, uh, like, what? What they be like? What they be uh, talking about? How they talk about? Fucking yeah. Generals. They just but, yeah. You know what? Invite yes. them next time. Yeah, was one of them about them. to come yeah. on? No. Um, yeah. Was, I don't know. Oh, well, you don't know. So I don't know about that. You don't know that? Maybe uh, I know the two girls, but I don't know. She about looked them. like she bring bring those. Yeah. yeah. He said need to bring come on here. those. Yeah. No, I'm for. But for, yeah, the girls yeah. always say like they like the two guys because all the attention's on them. But for me, I'm that would just not be my thing. Yeah. I need to like. I would rather do it with someone who actually gave a shit about and like gave a shit about you only want like the attention to be on us and like not the extra person so i feel that it seems like this it's like fun like bucket list thing but it's really not so i feel that i feel that all righty that is uh that is valid valid point uh i am getting word that we are approaching the hour mark um so i have one last final question for you uh before we wrap it up um and it's pretty straightforward i just wanted to know you know what is um the perfect height for a male this is like specifically for our tiktok so i want to ask what's the perfect height the perfect height i gotta say six foot six Sorry. foot six foot so you ain't coming star unless you're six height. foot buddy ha, ha, you six eight like when you're six eight. five you're six, it's like eight. damn, <laughs> it's like, damn too much you <laughs> fucked up <laughs> But I still don't discriminate if you're five ten or five nine or five eight. Okay, yeah. so y'all still it's got. Okay. It's okay, you guys. Said about, it's okay. She's don't so shoot nice, yourself. Bro. I'm just She's kidding. So nice. It's okay. How many times? It's okay. Yeah. Kind. Yeah, because there's some there's some like handsome cute guys that are like that's like five, six, five five and you, and you yeah. no I don't know about five five. You ever seen oh. a five two <laughs> cute boy? Oh, what you say? Some real quick. She said, "Fuck no." Not for me. Oh God. Yeah. yeah. See, not for her. There's exactly. one out there for you. It's like, all good. Not for you her. just can't have this one. You can't yeah. have her. <laughs> but if you're six foot, yeah, you good. Find yeah, a yeah. really short girl. Like, uh, there's plenty of them out there. Yeah, basically, just I'm go. short, but not that short. Just find 
Yeah. I gotta yeah. go to work. He was around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We, hey, we appreciate you. If you're still watching this episode, we even got sidetracked at some point. So if y'all didn't click out, we appreciate y'all. Uh, you know, staying tuned. Uh, we are on a roll uh, on this new year. We are posting content every week, um, if not every other week. We got hella content stored on us. We got hella Man, shit. We got this it. is our like <laughs> third episode that hasn't even posted, posted yet. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. So if you guys are seeing this, you guys have seen um, a lot of episodes posted before this. So uh, we appreciate you, Star, for sliding through. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all yeah. the way from you New York. You guys will drop her Instagram in the uh, description below. So if y'all want to be some creeps, go ahead and, uh, you know, follow <laughs> Hopefully her. Hopefully it's re-up yeah. like, up again by then. Cause yeah. She well. sells feet pics, so y'all can, you know, subscribe to that shit, too, if y'all yeah. are feeling I I pretty. Did. But yeah. you can see my feet in this podcast. Yeah, uh, we see. definitely clipping that. So, yeah. 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 So you can see something else, too. <laughs> if you subscribe to the OnlyFans, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but look, hey, if you guys feel like uh, you enjoyed this episode, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, y'all. And uh, yeah, until next week. Peace. Peace.